Hello, my brothers. Hello, my sisters. Today is the day that the Lord has made. And I am so glad, so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it. Every day is a new day to always put your faith and your trust and your hope in Jesus. No matter what the situation looks like right now today, no matter what your circumstances look like right now today, today is a new day to step out on faith again, to trust again, to hope again. And when you hope, it's a feeling that you're expecting that Jesus is going to do something amazing in your life. Hope is, is something that a desire that's burning your heart. It is an ambition that you have. It is something in your gut that knowing that God has already did it. It's a feeling that God has already done it for you. So every day is a blessed day. As long as you're putting your faith and your trust and the hope of him, every day is a blessed day. But every day is a day to praise and worship our Heavenly Father God for who he is and what he has done and what he is doing right now in every last one of our life. Every day is a blessed day to always be in the presence of the Lord, to sing new songs, to glorify him, to praise him, to worship him, to shout out hallelujah right now today. I don't know about you, my brothers. I don't know about you, my sisters. But every day is a blessed day to always seek him in his presence, for me to always call out his holy name, to always get on my knees to pray to him. It's always a blessed day for me to always able to open my Bible, to read another word today, to accept the Holy Spirit because today the Holy Spirit is moving right now today. The Holy Spirit is touching every last one of us right now today. The Holy Spirit is guiding us right now today. The Holy Spirit is directing us right now today. The Holy Spirit is doing something new in every last one of our life right now today. Today is the blessed day because he is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. And know that my God is still on that throne, which he is. As long as he's still performing miracles and wonders, which he is, I'm going to thank him. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to glorify him because I could have been somewhere else today. But it was him that breathed life inside our body today. It was him that touched our heart today so our heart can beat today. It was him that touched our soul so blood can flow through our body today. It was him. It was him. And if he woke you up today and he gave you your health, he gave you your life today and your strength and health today, doesn't he deserve to be praised right now today? I ain't talking about praying because you want something. No, 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 no. I'm not praying talking about because you're in need of anything. No, 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 no. I'm talking about praise him because it was him that is doing something in your life right now today. It is him that's moving in your life right now today. It is him that's preparing everything that you act for and praying for in your life right now today. It is him that gave you another chance. They gave you another opportunity to seek him, to praise him, to step out on faith again, to put your trust and hope in him again. It was him. So he deserved the praise. He deserved the glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' holy mighty name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. My sisters and my brother, it's such a beautiful, blessed day today to have y'all guys a part of today's service today. Minister LT wanted to know how thankful, how grateful, how honored, and how blessed I am for every last one of y'all. Y'all guys could have been doing anything else today. You could have watched anything else on TV today, but you chose to watch Jesus' YouTube channel today. You chose to listen and to receive today's message today. Y'all guys could have listened to anybody, but y'all allowed me to minister to y'all today. I just want to let you know words can't even, can't even explain how grateful, how honored and blessed I am for every last one of y'all. I know for a fact that God is doing something new in every last one of your life. According to Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 through 20, that God is doing something new. He is doing something new in your life right now because of your faithfulness, your obedience, and by you being a good servant. Doing what you're supposed to do today. So right now, he is opening up doors for y'all right now today. He is providing for every last one of y'all today. And I am praying for healing for every last one of y'all today. Blessings for every last one of y'all today. Breakthrough for every last one of y'all today. Promotion for every last one of y'all today. Prosperity for every last one of y'all today. I'm praying for God to do something new 
and, and amazing and magnificent in every last one of y'all's life right today. I believe it and I declare it that Jesus has done it and is doing it right now in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. My sisters, my brothers, are there anybody out there in the world today that is really, really ready to ask Jesus to come into their life today? And if you're really, really ready, I encourage you right now today to please head to the altar or to go in your room. Is there anybody today out there in the world that is not 100% sure if something was to happen to you right now today, you don't know where you're going today. You don't know if you're going to be in heaven or you're going to hell. If you're not 100% sure, I'm encouraging you right now today to head to the altar or go in your room. Is there anybody in the world today that does not have a personal relationship with Jesus, but today is the day that you really want to have that personal relationship with Jesus? Right now, I'm encouraging you right now today to head to the altar or go in your room right now today. And the reason why I'm always saying this Nobody knows the time, the date, or the hour when something is going to happen. Nobody knows when something is going to happen to you when you get hurt or it's time for you to go home because right now there's a lot of people right now that's fighting for their life. Don't even know they have a chance or an opportunity to ask Jesus this question right now again today. There's a lot of people right now today that are dead and gone. They don't even have a chance or opportunity anymore. And the reason why I'm always saying it because there's a lot a lot of lost souls out there in the world today don't even know who jesus is don't have a, don't have a personal relationship with jesus don't even know if something was that happening you know, what they going to today right now today and if you know you are one of those people in any one of those categories i boldly confess and encourage you right now today please head to the altar right now today go in your room right now today and all you guys say is lord jesus I don't know what's going to happen to me right now today. But today, you breathed life inside of me today. Today, you gave me another chance. Today, you gave me another opportunity. I cannot continue to let life go past and not actually be my Lord and Savior Christ. Today, I am boldly confessing right now today with my mouth to please come in my life to be my Lord and Savior Christ. And once you boldly confess that, my brothers and my sisters, Right then and there, you're saved. You are born again. Right now, you have just accepted and received the Holy Spirit in your life right now today. I just want to say congratulations to you, my brothers and sisters, and every boy and girl. I'm not here to build a church. I'm here to help people who don't know Jesus, to have that personal relationship with you because there's a lot of lost souls. I'm here to help and to a man people who was lost, who want to be found. That's my job as a minister. Amen. Amen. The angels are in heaven right now rejoicing today because somebody just both confessed. My sister, my brother, it's a great thing to be in the presence of the Lord, to actually be your Lord and Savior Christ because he want to do so much in your life. He want to show you things. And I believe that's what he's doing right now today. Amen. Amen. My sisters, my brothers, I have an amazing word and amazing message today. And in this word and in this message today, as I was in my room this morning, in my sanctuary, it's always praise and worship to God, always on my knees, just praying to him. And as I pray, I always read my Bible. And as I was reading this morning, the word hit me for the next message that God wanted me to speak and what God wanted me to let somebody know today. And in this word today, Jesus is saying today, Jesus has a message in your mouth today. Jesus has spoken a message in your mouth today. And then that message is supposed to be a blessing. So who are you, who have you blessed with a message with today? That's today's word today. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. This word for somebody today. Amen? Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day of life today. I can't thank you enough for our health today and our strength today. I just can't thank you how you're moving us right now today, how you're moving mouths on our behalf right now today. 
I just can't thank you enough how you how you guiding us, how you directing us, how you touching every last one of us right now today. I just can't thank you for the food that you prepared and put on that table today. And the clothing shoe that you prepared and put on that back. I just can't think enough for today's word and today's message today. I just can't think enough for everybody that just asks you to come into their life today. I just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy, oh Heavenly Father God. I just can't thank you enough that you breathe life inside our body today, that you touch our heart today so, so they was able to beat today. I just can't think for you that you that you put you touched us today so the blood can move through our body today. I just can't think of our blessing today, our breakthrough today, our anoint today, our deliverance today. I can't think of our healing today. I can't thank you enough for what you're about to do and what you have done and what you're doing right now in the mighty name of Jesus today. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do. Because I can't thank you enough. That's why I worship you the way I do. Because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my trust and my hope and my faith in you the way I do. Because I can't thank you enough. That's why I say I can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus, holy mighty name. Amen. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to Numbers 23. And we're going to read verse 11. That's Numbers 23. And we're going to read verse 11. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive today's word, let the church say amen. Amen. God bless you. Balak said to Balaam, what have you done to me? I brought you to curse my enemies, but you have done nothing but bless them. He answered, Must I not speak what the Lord puts in my mouth? See, my brothers and my sisters, when the Lord speak, he don't speak hatred. He don't speak bubblegum talk. He speak life inside our mouth each and every day. He speak wisdom inside our mouth every day. He speak knowledge inside our mouth every day. He speak power in our mouth every day. So when Jesus speak those, those things in your mouth, you don't have time to be jealous of nobody. You don't have time to envy anybody. You don't have time to hate anybody. You don't have time for the petty or the small stuff, but your enemies expect and want you to do when you know when Jesus speaks in your life. When he speaks in your mouth, when he put the words in your heart, you don't have time for the nonsense. And right now, some of you right now, you're hanging with the enemy right now and the enemy expect you to do the opposite. The enemy wants you to, to have the same problem for what they have, they want you to have. But God is blocking everything what the enemy wants you to do. God is blocking everything what the enemy wants you to say. And I don't know who I'm talking to right now today. I don't know who this word for right now today. But right now, God has utterly has spoken life inside of your mouth right now today. He has spoken wisdom inside of your, your mouth right now today. He has spoken knowledge and power in your mouth right now today. And now, your enemy, your so-called friend, is mad at you because you didn't do exactly what he or she wanted you to do. They must think that you are following because you hang with them, because you think that you kick with them. You ain't nobody following, you ain't nobody do boy, you ain't nobody do girl. You don't do what somebody else wants you to do. If they got a problem with somebody, let them have a problem with somebody. You don't do what they want you to do. You don't do nothing what they expect you to do. You do exactly what God expects out of you today. God has spoken a message in your mouth today. And that message that God has spoken to you today, he wants you to bless somebody with that message. He don't want you to curse nobody with that message. He don't want you to envy nobody with that message. He don't want you to be jealous of nobody with a message. He don't want you to be petty with nobody with a message. And he don't want you to speak hatred towards nobody with a message. He wants you to bless 
somebody with a message. And that's what's going on with the world today. And I know that God has spoken a message in everybody's life today because the word of God says those right here. And on the second reason why I know because every day when God wakes me up, when he gave me another chance, and when he gave me another opportunity, he always speak a message inside of me for me to bless somebody today with the message, with the word. It don't matter if I'm one person, he always speaks a message in every last one of us. It's up to you if you're going to speak the right message. It's up to you if you're going to use that message so that message can bless somebody. Only if it's one. He, don't, he didn't say if a number that he wants you to bless everybody with a message. But he said, I spoke a message in your mouth for you can use that message to bless somebody. How many people you know each and every day that speak to you, but when they speak to you, it's a message that's coming from God, that the message that you are hearing right now today is a blessing in your life. I want you to raise your hands right now today. How many people do you know right now today? Some of you hanging around people right now that God has spoken a particular message in that person right now today. But at one time have they used that message to bless you. And it could be so-called friends. It could be so-called family members. It could be church people that you go to church with, that you praise with, that you worship with. How many times have they spoken a blessing over your life? How many times have they sit there and pray over your, your YouTube channel or your Instagram channel or your Facebook channel? How many times have they say, I ask God in the mighty name of Jesus that this man or this woman, YouTube or Instagram or Facebook channel for it to increase? I, I pray prosperity of it. How many times have they spoken a blessing over your channel? How many times? But you have so many people who will unsubscribe you um, block you, um, follow you, or will look over your stuff. And knowing good way that God has spoken a message inside him, so I want you to listen to that young woman right there. I want you to listen to that young man right there. I want you to subscribe. I want you to listen. I want you to follow. I want you to do something different. I want you to speak life. I want you to speak prosperity over this person's Instagram or Facebook or YouTube channel today. How many people have done that today? And I know for a fact that God speaks. How many people have done it today? See, the point is what I'm saying, my brothers and my sisters. But God speak a message in every last one of us. He speak a message so we can bless and help the next man, so we can help the next woman, so we can help the next boy and girl out of life. That's what God expects out of us. That's what you call being obedient. And right now, Balaam was being obedient. Even though Balak wanted him to do everything what he wanted to do. But God spoke in his mouth and said, I don't want you to do that. I want you to speak blessing over somebody's life. I want you to speak prosperity over somebody's life. I want you to speak knowledge over somebody's life. I want you to speak wisdom over somebody's life. I want you to speak life over somebody's life. I want you to speak power over somebody's life. And that was exactly what he done. Amen? Amen. So that's why his end was so mad at him. He said, what have you done? He said, I brought you here to curse my enemies, but instead, you blessing them. Why was Balaam blessing them? Because God has spoke life, wisdom, and knowledge, and, and power in his life. He spoke a message in his life. And that message, he said, I want you to bless the same people that, that Balaam wants you to curse. I want you to bless them. I want you to speak to them. And that was, I know for a fact that God has done the same thing for you. You ain't going to sit there and tell me that he ain't done it because I know he done it. Because God speaks every day. No matter who you are. No matter what color you are. No matter what religion you are. No matter what sex you are. He speaks a message in every last one of our life. But it's up to you if you're going to take that message and use it to bless somebody. So again, how many people have spoken a blessing over your life today? How many? And it's the same people that you see every day. It's the same people that you talk with every day. It's the same people that you kick with every day. But how many of those people that you know personally has spoken a blessing of your life today? How many say, you know, I got a message for you today. I know a lot of people are not, probably not looking at your, your YouTube or your Instagram or Facebook channel, but I got a message for you today. I believe that God is going to do something so amazing, something different in your 
and your Instagram and your Facebook and your YouTube channel. I believe that God is going to do something that you ain't never thought was going to happen. How many people have spoken a blessing like that on your life? How many people say that I believe that God is about to, God is using you right now? How many people are saying that I know something good is about to come your way? How many people say that you are up next for your blessing? How many people say that you are up next for your miracle? How many people say I know that you you the right woman, that you the right man for this job, that everything that you're going through, that your breakthroughs around the corner? How many people have spoken? Spoken a blessing of your life right now today. How many people? Some of you don't even know. Some of you probably scratch like, you know what? Mm. Nobody. But I hang with these people every day. I keep with these people every day. But now I'm really done it. So what's the point? The point is, when somebody have beef or have a problem with somebody else, that does not mean that you're supposed to have beef or a problem with that person. Your job is to bless that person. Your job is to speak a message over that person, to speak life, to speak wisdom, to speak knowledge and power. That's my point. My point is because someone that has beef or a problem with somebody else does not mean that it, that is your beef, does not mean that it's your problem. Your job is to speak a message, a message in that brother and that sister or every boy and girl life, your job is to bless them with the word of God. That's my whole point of this message today. God has spoken a message in your mouth today. What is the message that God has spoken in your mouth today? What is God is telling you today? What is God is telling you right now today? I need you to bless your brothers right now. I need you to bless a sister right now. I need you to pray over this man. I need you to pray over this woman. Are you going to be obedient or are you going to just turn your nose the other way? And some of you, that was exactly what you're doing. You're not being obedient. You're not doing nothing what God has spoken in your mouth and your life to do right now today. And you know exactly who you are. That's what I love about this. Balaam was obedient. He didn't do nothing what Balak wanted him to do. Even though Balak bought him there to do the opposite. But God, when God speaks in your life, when God put that word and that anointing in your mouth and your spirit, you have a choice to either do what Balak wants you to do or you have a obedient choice that you want to do what God expects you to do. What choice are you going to make today? You going to do what God wants you to do or you going to do what Balak wants you to do? Balaam did what God wanted him to do and Balak got mad at him. Amen? Amen. So I don't know who's this word for today. I don't know who's this message for today. But when God speaks a message in your life every day, use that message that God has spoken in your life and be a blessing towards somebody today. Be help towards somebody today. Speak life in somebody's life today. Speak wisdom. Speak knowledge and speak power. Speak prosperity in somebody's life today. Because God do speak and he do put a message. I say he does and he do put a message in every last one of our mouths every single day. But within that message, bless somebody with that message what God has told you today. God, I know God is telling you that. It says right here in the Bible and he tells me a message every day. And every day that he gave me a message, my job is to use that message. And bless somebody with today to share the word of God. So that's what I do. I'm obedient the way how God wanted me and what he expect me to do. It doesn't matter how many of y'all unsubscribe me. It doesn't matter how many times y'all overlook this YouTube channel or don't view it. It doesn't matter. But I have a message that God has spoken to me for me to bless somebody with today. And this message today is going to bless and help somebody today. I don't know who it is, but it's going to bless somebody today. It might not be today. It might be five years from now. It might be 10 years from now. It might be 20 or 30 years from now. But the point is, the message that he spoke inside of me is going to bless and help somebody later on in life. Amen? Amen. Before I close, I always like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus. I ask of you that come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying that simple little prayer that God is already working everything got in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, 
my YouTube channel is withers.alt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always praise him. This minister LT, the message that God has spoken in your mouth today, use that message and bless somebody today. Amen? Amen. Always keep him first place and always stay prayed up. Amen. God bless you.